Hey everyone, I'm Shiro K and welcome to a New Testament. It's a new demo for an upcoming horror game that was released on itch.io. It was for free. And this lady looks pretty cool. That being said, uh, let's play and see what it's all about. Yeah. I swear I didn't mean to get to this point. Oh man, oh jeez. It's embarrassing for a father. Oh. It's embarrassing for a father to ask his 11 year old daughter for financial help. Uh, oh. What are you talking about exactly? But unfortunately, I don't have the strength to go on alone anymore. That was the only choice. It was either that or live on the streets. Uh, live on the streets. Whatever that was, live on the streets. And there is no way I can let that happen. I just hope that someday you forgive me. Uh, what, what did we do exactly? Did we sell our child to a rich family that uh, they don't have children? Because they have small penises? Yeah, rich people have small penises. Sue me. <laughs> uh, okay. I like how it looks like so far. Can I look around? No. Oh, we're going to church. God damn it. <laughs> Take me to church, howling like a wolf wolf. The worst, the worst place for dad to choose is go to church. Are you kidding me? Am I the child or the dad? Bam! <laughs> Hi, John Wick. <laughs> you okay, honey? Yeah. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's okay, Dad. You know I want to be like my mother. Uh, where's Mom, by the way? Uh, speaking of Mom, what was Mom exactly? So many questions. Yeah, I know. But don't push yourself too much. If you feel like you want to come home, just tell the priest and he'll call me, okay? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Are, are, what, what? What's going on in this game? Should I just close it? I'm getting vibes of things that I don't want to know. Alright. I love you, Dad. I love you too, honey. Now go and be careful. Uh, is she like just gonna clean? I hope so. Bye, piece of shit. You garbage. Sell your fucking car. Rent a place for a couple weeks with that money. Not like even a place. Go to a hotel room. Search for a job. Motherfucker. You have a car. Do you know how expensive gas is? I'm better in church than with dad, I guess. It's trash. Oh, come on. Resident Evil door opening. Come on. <laughs> I, I love it. Don't get me wrong. But why? Why was that a choice? <laughs> like in directing the game. I, I like it. I don't know. So church is empty. Why don't I and dad just move here? There's plenty of room. Yeah, there are people maintaining it. There is a broom. No, oh, it's not a broom. Sorry, I'm not very churchy. I have no idea what's inside churches. I'm worried that if I go there, I'm gonna burn to death. Cause I'm probably possessed as fuck. Wait a second. Isn't this like the the candle that? The Jewish people have and that's the Christian cross. So is this is this a multi-religious church? Nice. Very progressive. And that is not a Bible. Bibles don't have empty squares in them, as much as I know. Okay. This is locked. Um uh, 
Here's where I'm gonna fight the final boss, the priest. Probably. Okay, let's go here, I guess. Oh, come on, they're drinking in church. I mean, I think they drink wine, right? I have no fucking clue. I've never been to a church. I'm too... I'm too demony. They have some shitty ass fruits. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, what's here? There's a sink. That's good. To wash my sins away. And there's water. I'm very thirsty in real life as well. So, god damn it. Now what I'm thinking about is drinking cold water. Fresh, tasty water. Oh, come on, what's going on? What am I getting stuck on? Do I just leave? Now I don't get where I... What, what to do? Should I confess? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Oh, hi. Jesus. Calvea. I've been waiting for you. Did I scare you? Yeah. Pretty much. Just a little, I mean, I might need new pants and a peed a little bit, but hey, it's on you. Forgive me, I was just finishing organizing your room. Oh, I gave, I gave, so the dad gave his daughter to the church, so they take care of her. Thanks, father, I'm really tired. Tired? Didn't your father tell you how work works here? Okay, I'm gonna give him a different voice. This voice is very annoying to me. It's gonna be this voice. Oh, it's gonna be an old bad voice. I'll decide in the next sentence. But yeah, apparently I'm here actually for child labor. Yeah, typical church, I guess. Yes, he said I would work during the night. Exactly! This prevents us from interrupting our brothers during their prayers. And of course, as you are a child, you'll be only cleaning the excessive dirt from the floor. Don't worry, Father. Just bring me any services you may have. You really are a wonderful girl, aren't you? Wanting to help your dear father. But for now, just clean the kitchen floor and you can sleep. I'm so old and cranky. The kitchen is right over there and the other side of the room. And the broom is there next to the confessional. Today, I'll be here to help you, but normally I would already be sleeping at this hour, because I'm old. But of course, you can call me anytime if you have any doubts or just want some company. Never. See? That, 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 that means... Fuck off, you're creepy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, before I forget, this is the paper containing your daily tasks. I leave a new one every day on your door. Here, take it. Okay. Have to see your daily tasks. I'll be here if you need me. Never. Okay, father. Thank you. Not really. Get the fuck out of here, creepy weirdo. Can I lock him inside? Hey! You said you gotta be here, like inside this room. Come back here and stay inside. I'm gonna lock him here. Oh no, this is my room. Okay, I want you to get the fuck out of here so I can start working. I'm never gonna talk to you. So let's see my. Oh, clean the kitchen. 
I, I said this was a broom before. I knew it. I like that I can actually run, but not really. It's more like it zooms out. But am I faster? I don't know. Where is the... Oh, the kitchen was where the sink is. I thought it's just some random sink. Alright, time to clean the dirt. Nice. Th this is poop. Who's pooping inside the church's kitchen? Come on. This is like taking the private jet to hell. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind if I'm gonna burn for eternity. I don't want to go on a fucking bus. Okay, I cleaned your poop. Finally done, time to bed. Yeah, great. Can I clean some of this poop as well? No, I can't. Okay. So I'm only allowed to clean specific poop usually. I'm gonna assume this was my room, right? Can I close the door? Yes. Can I lock the door? Uh, probably I can't. What am I? Yeah, go to bed. But why would I go to bed? Why don't just that pick me up again? Like after I'm done with my two minutes work. That's why you don't live in a church. Jesus. Literally Jesus. Do actual people live in churches? I don't know. Like, it's this huge ass buildings. Wouldn't that be easier if we give it to the homeless? <laughs> Clean the nave, church main hall. I left the room inside your room. Why would you do that? But thanks, I guess. Weirdo. So is there gonna be blood? There's a lot of poop here. I've seen a lot of poop here. I'm gonna try the locked door first. Oh, it's not locked anymore. It's a pooper! I would like to poop. I can't flush the toilet. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to clean the toilets too. Come on. There are showers inside the church. This place is fucking fancy. Okay, clean, clean, clean. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Cool. I wish I could sweep faster. Come on. Are there upgrades in the game where I can sweep faster? What the fuck? Oh, what's going on? Okay, it was just spoopy music. Yeah, I don't see anything. Just gonna do my job, I guess. This is pretty much illegal. This is child labor and I don't want to do it. Did I hear someone walk? Probably not. This is very ominous. Why red candles inside this stupid ass church? Come on. Sweep faster. So much poop. It's like this was, I don't know, goat farm before. They just put walls around it. I'm almost done, I think. I see two more poops. And then I should be a Gucci. How much am I getting paid? Oh my god, I see another poop. No. No. Poop is everywhere.
Yeah, this might be the last piece of poop. But it's supposed to be a horror game, and there was a Resident Evil door opening, so... There should, there should be more horror. Right? Right? You're gonna try to spook me? Huh? Okay, so there's that. I cleaned everything here. Maybe I missed something between the stupid things where people sit. Oh, there's one in the middle of the carpet, of course. Someone pooped on the carpet. Nice. There's more? Where? His poop. Nice, got it. Well, I guess I can call today. Uh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. God damn it, I hate that I can't jump. <laughs> well, here's my room. Always close the damn door. Thank you very much. And go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Tomorrow you have poop to sweep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. And the pop is smoking weed. <laughs> that was the dumbest song I've ever sang in my life. God damn it, what do you want from me now? Do you want my kidneys? Oh, there's a key. Give me the key. Clean the study room. The door on the right side of the entrance. I have the key above the drawers. After you finish your work, take a shower if you wish. I don't wish. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I like living dirty. I'm a dirty person. Okay, near the entrance. So that. Right, this door. I don't trust this place to take a shower there. This is the study? What do you study here? What do people study here? I don't understand. Like, isn't, isn't religion is like just this one book? Like, how many times can you study it? <laughs> what do you need to study? <laughs> one book! For like, I don't know how many years they do that. Or for the rest of their lives. I, I don't understand. It's weird. It's very weird to me. Like, there's no new information. It's not like Jesus is doing more things. <laughs> he did things back in this. That was it. It's like watching the same movie for years. And that's the only thing that you watch. Very weird. So I'm cleaning the poop in the study. Who's pooping in the study? That's a very interesting thing to know. What does it say? New Testament lessons. What about the Old Testament? When God was like, Oh, you're a piece of shit. I'm going to kill you. And he killed a bunch of people. Didn't, didn't that happen? I don't know. So... I feel like I should cut me cleaning the pool because nothing is happening. Like really not much is happening. It's me cleaning poop off the floor. Oh, I think I should shower now. No! I say if you shower or not. And I say, no. I'm going straight to bed. I don't trust the, the, the priest. I don't trust no one. God damn it, I can't go to sleep. Because I have to have to shower in church. Very weird. Wasn't that the shower or was it this door? Okay, this is the bathroom then. What the fuck is this? Oh this is where I this is the kitchen. Uh there's nothing here. Okay, the game is very linear so far. Right. Shower it is. 
Is there a specific shower that I need to shower in? The furthest one, I guess. Oh no, it's the first one. Why? So close to the door. This is horrible. And the priest is here. Where's the broom? Nah, I still have it. Okay, I'm gonna beat someone's ass with it. Just saying. Uh, okay. Let's go to sleep. This is still fucking locked. I think that's the only room that I haven't been in so far. Alright. Time for a nighty night. Don't tell me this is the end of the demo. Nothing has happened. Come on! Try to spook me, game! I dare ya! Double dare ya! It's gonna be like, oh, clean the corpses now. <laughs> clean my room? A oh, fuck no! You're a grown ass man, you clean your own room! How about that? I guess it's my job now. You piece of shit. Where is his room? Oh, of course it's his. Of course he pooped in his own room. The toilet is not far away. Come on, man. And of course he has a TV. What else does he have? What? Is this a missing poster? It's a missing poster behind his bookshelf. Come on! What more do you need? Leave! Leave this stupid ass church! God damn! Can I close the door? I can't! Of course I can't. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna clean the one next to the door last so I could run outside. Because <laughs> I think it's gonna try to grab me at some point. So I don't want that to happen. He has a missing child poster. And he has a secret door that goes to his sex dungeon probably. Come on. The father's room is really big and has two beds. Yeah, I didn't notice that actually. That's very weird, isn't it? <laughs> Motherfucker. Ooh, hi. Carmelia, it's been a while. I know you're living a child's dream, right? Waking up late, helping your dear father. And I'm about to make this place better for you. Because I made a special cake just to congratulate you on your great effort here. No! No! Why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? <laughs> You're probably a creep. A wonderful cake to a wonderful girl. Thanks, father. My stomach has just started to grow. Perfect. The cake is in the kitchen table. Okay, he's still looking at me. Is he? Yeah, he kind of is. What if I stand behind him? Okay, it doesn't... It doesn't go all owl on me. Yeah, hi. You are definitely a fucking weirdo that I don't want to interact with in real life. I'm gonna try to leave. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the fuck out of here. I don't think the game is gonna let me. Nope, touche. So the kitchen. I don't remember where that was. Was it this one? Oh no, that was the study. So one of those is the bathroom one, and one is the kitchen. 
Yep, here's the kitchen. Ah, oh, come on! No fucking icing? You piece of shit! You got this shitty cake from Walmart for like a buck. I'm not even getting paid. <laughs> God damn it. I work my ass off for three days and I get a Walmart cake. And I'm drugged now probably. I'm gonna wake up in the sex dungeon. I don't like that. Yep. Yeah. I knew it. No one wears sunglasses indoors. You are my girl now. No, I'm not. You're gonna keep all this a secret, right? Oh my fucking god, did you smack me? We're gonna have so much fun together. Ah, oh, give me a shotgun. Does this game have a shotgun? Oh, thank you. Whoever is killing him, thank you. Oh, thank you, you're the best. Don't worry, Caramella. He's gone. Now let's move before he turns. But I have to admit, he was right. You look ill. Don't worry. I won't let your death be in vain or painful. Just sleep and leave the rest to me. Oh, damn! It has been five days since Carmelia went to that church. I thought she would call me, but instead she sent me a letter saying it was all fine. The only problem is, she cannot read and write. Oh snap! <laughs> oh, she's 11! Well, hang on a fucking second. She's 11. She can read and write, right? She should be. You know that shit at like 5-6 years old, right? Oh my god, I am the worst father. I I'm keeping my, my kids illiterate. God damn it. Like I am in real life. <laughs> and I'm back. And I hope I have a fucking shotgun. I have a gun. Thank you. I'm gonna shoot some priests. <laughs> Thanks for playing this demo. Please consider leaving a review. I will consider that. I will consider that. That was it. Huh. All right, then let's talk about it. New Testament. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I I know this is giving me bad <laughs> bad reputation in the in the in the horror scene YouTubers type thing, but let's just be honest about it. So far, I didn't see. I, I don't know. I didn't see what triggers me to be like, oh, I'm very excited to play this game, to be honest. I think the story is going to be like dark and edgy and all that, which is always fun in my opinion. But the gameplay that I saw really dragged me down. It, it was too slow. Here's the thing. Here's, here's my theory and hot take of the day. If you want to make a demo for a game, you want to present something that will be short. And that means you're gonna have to take the attention and focus from the player in a very short amount of time. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make a small bang. Let's say it like this. Yeah, you, you have to make a small bang that will, will make the player be like, "Oh, this is interesting." Instead of the tedious task of cleaning dirt, which just takes time. For and it doesn't really do much if you include that in your full game well, I mean it would be fine probably because the full game is gonna be longer and you're in for the whole like you're in for the whole train ride so you would do tedious tasks but for a demo it's I don't know like I think I think this was misplaced and if you wanted just to show like how interesting the story is going to be and how you switch characters between the daughter and the dad, I think you they could have done that without having to do tedious tasks like cleaning the poop off the floor. 
Like there's like 10 poops you have to clean and I don't know, I, I just find that misplaced in my opinion. It takes attention away from the game to be honest and it makes it feel like it's gonna be more of a chore type of game and not much horror is happening in it and yeah it's it's just really misplaced because usually demos show you how like what direction the game is going and if it's going for that type of gameplay in my opinion it's uh it's being a heavy weight of the game let's say it like this it's gonna be the least favorite part of the game probably for everyone who plays it I'm generalizing a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking that wh what, how I would feel it's gonna be like mostly because I'm, I'm I'm one of the idiots who play horror games all the time and video games all the time. So I'm assuming that people will also be really annoyed on doing the chores. And I don't know if developers ever watch this video, they're gonna take anything from it uh, it's it's fine to have tasks and chores in your games but I wouldn't I wouldn't consider it to be the focus of the game like I think the game should focus more on maybe the storytelling cutscenes things that are happening here and there like like that small uh, poster behind the bookcase that was cool I like that thing it was a very small thing but I liked it but I really didn't like cleaning the floor because it just felt tedious. But yeah, uh, overall, it, it was a fine demo. In my opinion, it was misplaced with the choices on what to show about what the game could be. Because the game, as uh, now that I read the description, like after I finished playing, and it doesn't have like the combat because the game is gonna have combat. It's gonna be probably Resident Evilish because of the door opening. I got that. And she's saying that the f the priest is gonna turn. So is is it gonna be a zombie? Is it gonna be possessed by a demon? I don't know. Either way, I love that idea. But maybe you sh should have included a uh, first impression of the game. Like more of those things and less of cleaning poop from the floor. I don't know, I'm gonna stop complaining about it. But I just thought it's honesty is best policy and I really think if I don't know. If I was let's be honest, if I was making a game and someone uh points my attention to something that they think is an issue and maybe I did it by like like, I don't know, maybe I was not too focused on what I was doing. I would take it by heart and I would, I would, I would be like, oh, thanks for telling me. And I, I, most, of, most of game developers, when, because if it's your product, if it's your thing, you see it differently than someone who is taking it as it is. Like, they don't know the depth of it. So, for me as a person who don't know the depth of it, I find the demo very misplaced. And... I think it's misleading on the potential of the game because I think the game is going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to have a lot of potential and this demo is really not serving it well. I'm going to stop talking. I hope that you enjoyed this video anyway. And yeah. I would say shoot for the stars. Stay away from church with a priest who has sunglasses indoors. And take care of yourselves and stay safe.